I'm Rachel. I work as an education ranger at the Greater Sydney Parkland. We're here on Vigigal Land and we're about to go on a bug hunt. Do you want to come? Wait for me, Ziggy. You'll need a jar, a stick and a paintbrush. I'm going to use this bug jar that has a magnifying glass as a lid. But you can use any jar you have. Now it's time to go see what we can find. Bugs like dark, warm, moist areas. So we aren't going to have much luck just looking on the ground. We're going to have to look in the ground. Use your stick to start digging in the ground. Around the base of trees or under logs is a good place to start. If you're not finding anything, look in a new spot. It can sometimes take a while to find a bug, but when you do, it's so exciting. Now when you find a bug, it's time to catch it. Never touch bugs with your hands. You don't want them to hurt you, and we don't want to hurt them. Use your paintbrush to gently push the bug into a jar. If the bug is too fast and you lose it, don't worry, just keep looking for another one. Now, put the lid on. Have a close look at the bug. Do you know what it is? I found a worm. It's brown, has a long body, and has no legs. Try and identify your bug. Ask yourself some questions like, how many body parts does it have? How many legs does it have? Does it have wings? What color is it? What body shape does it have? You could even use a bug chart to help you. When you're finished, don't forget to release your bug back into its environment. Now it's time to look for another bug. Another fun thing to do is to get a light coloured sheet, place it on the ground under a tree branch and shake the tree branch. Look at all the bugs that have fallen onto the sheet just from that one shake. Wow, there are so many bugs in the world. I'm going to keep searching. Have fun on your own bug hunt. Bye.